how beautiful you guys look. Thank you for coming to our community spelling day for the after school program. Guess what? We did such an awesome job. Look at all you guys here. This is great for our first one. Next year it'll be even bigger. I want to thank uh, Dr. Parkinson, who's our superintendent. Dr. Whitaker, who's the head of our Cooper Services Department, and Dr. Sutton, the head of our Curriculum and Instruction Department for coming out. They're gonna be our judges. Yes! We have, also we have Miss Sammons and Miss Francis. They're gonna be calling the words out for the students. So we need quiet when the students are talking and when they're saying their words. So if you want to applaud, please wait until the end of the round. Can we all do that? Yes. All right. Um, also, we have the distinct pleasure of having Senator Kane, our Senator for Chester, in the house. Can we give him a round of applause? <laughs> Thank you. Um, PSCA people, can you stand up? PSCA is our state union and they also gave us a grant and they participated as well as Chester Upland did and as well as your Chester Upland Education Association. We all contributed to make this special for all the children. So we're going to get started. A few housekeeping rules. There's a men's bathroom right out this door. If you go up that way, the men's bathroom is there. The ladies' bathroom is on this side if you go up and out. Um, there will be water out there. You can only bring water in here. Everything else to eat, we're gonna give on the way out, but only water. So if you want water, there's a container of water will be out there, you can bring that. But that's the only thing we can bring inside of the auditorium. All right, are we excited? All right, we have Kusa in the house. Let's get a clap for Kusa. Oh, I forgot, I'm so sorry. Oh, our receiver, Nafis Nichols is in the house. Let's give him a hand. I'm glad I looked over, yes. Are right, we have Main Street in the house? Yes. And we have Stetzer in the house. Wow. Yes, let's get excited. These are the next generation. Uh, I'm Brian Foreman, I'm the uh, association's vice president, and we're gonna get this started. We're gonna start right off with first grade. If we can have all the first graders line up over here and work their way up the staircase to the steps, and come over here and have a seat in the first three seats. I believe we have one. First two seats, three seats. So again, a few housekeeping things. We want to make sure that we're quiet for the kids. One, so they can hear the word, and two, so the judges can hear them spell. We're going to ask our first participant to come up. As you guys come up, if you could please just say your name into the microphone, and we'll get you started. Say your name and the school you're from. My name is Lamila Gordy and I'm from Main Street School. My name is Ariana Walton and I'm from Main Street School. My name is Alan and I'm from Kusa School. <laughs> Turn it on. 
Maybe turn off our mic. Can you hear? Oh, she said it's not the same. Hello, 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 hello. Is this safe? Safe, safe, safe. Yeah. Welcome, spellers. Welcome, spellers. Thank you for participating. And you've made it this far, so all of you are already winners. Now when you spell your word, say your word, spell your word, say your word again, and um, if you need to hear it again, just let me know. Alrighty? Your first word is car. It's a noun, a vehicle moving on wheels. My dad has a red car, one syllable, car. C-A-R, car. Your word is duckling. It's a noun, a young duck. The duckling ran in the road. Duckling, two syllables. Duckling. D E L L G. Duckling. I'm sorry, that is not correct, but we thank you for participating. Thank you for the outcome of the recipe. All right, my next fellow. Your word is cove. It's a noun, an area sheltered by mountains or hills. There was a small cove in the mountains. Cove, one syllable. C. O V E. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Bella. Your word is much. It's an adjective. Great in quantity or amount. The new car is much better. Much. Once over. Much. M U. C H much. Yeah. All right, my next spell returning. Your word is lane. It's a noun, a strip of roadway for a single line of vehicles. The lane was blocked by an accident. Lane, one syllable. L A N E. Be sure you say the word, you spell the word, and you say it again. Your word is slow. It's an adjective. Moving without speed. The traffic was moving slow. One syllable, slow. Slow. Eh? Oh, L. W. Slow. S L O W. Very good. All right, my next speller, be sure to say your word, spell your word, and say it again. Your word is goods. It's a noun, something produced for sale. Walmart has many goods made in the USA. Goods, one syllable. Goods, G-O-O-D-S, goods. Of a whole. Each part of the puzzle is important. 
of part, one syllable. Part, P-R-T-E, part. I'm sorry, that is not correct, but I thank you for participating. Congratulations to all our first graders. Big round of applause for them. And moving right along, we'll go right up. And if we could have our second graders come forward, please. Nice big round of applause for our second graders, please. All right, so we're gonna have you guys come forward one at a time. Please introduce yourself to the crowd and then back to your seat and then we'll bring you up to do the spelling. My name is Tian Irons and I'm from Main Street. My name is Arwa Sattler, and I'm from Setzer. My name is Nile, and I'm from Kusa. <laughs> My name is Caleb Brown, and I'm from Setzer. Bread, B E B R 
R-E-A-D, bread. All right, my next uh, show to the front. Your word is matching. It's an adjective, going together well. The matching game is fun. Matching. Matching. Souls. Matching. M-A-T-C-H-I-N-G. Matching. Yeah. Our next scholar. Your word is large. It's an adjective being big. The sandwich was large. One syllable, large. Large. L-A-R-G-E. Large. Yeah. Our next friend to the microphone. Wanted. It's a verb. To desire or wish for something. She wanted a bicycle for her birthday. Wanted. To wanted. W-A-N-T-E-D. Alright, be sure that you say the word, spell the word, and you say it again. Alright, my next spell in word is search. It's a verb. To carefully look for something or someone. He will search for the missing dog. Search. One syllable. Search. S. Search. S. A R. Search S E A R C H. Search. All right, my next scholar. Your word is booth. It's a noun, a stall or stand, as at a fair for the sale or exhibition of goods. I saw cupcakes in the booth. One syllable, booth. Booth. B-O-O-T-H, Booth. Returning to my next speller. Your word is shelter. It's a noun. Something that covers. There was a rain shelter in the park. Shelter, two syllables. Shelter, S-H-E-L-T-E-R, shelter. Rapids, R-A-P-I-D-S. Very good. Yeah. All right, my next speller. Your word is shoe. It's a noun, an outer covering for the human foot, typically having a thick or stiff sole with an attached heel and an upper part of the light, of light material. He left his shoe in the car. Shoe, one syllable. Shoe, S-H-O-E, shoe. My next scholar, your word is study. It's an adjective, meaning to prepare. If you study, you will pass the test. Study. Study, S-T-U. D I E D studied. Good job. All right, my next spell. Your word is also. It's an adverb, meaning likewise. They also like it. Two syllables, also. Also. A L S O. Also. Yeah. My next spell. You will be spelling the word. Gush is a noun, a sudden outpouring. The candy gushed out of the pinata. Gush, one syllable. 
Gus. G U S H E D. Knife, K-N-I-F-E, knife. Second grade, you are doing an awesome job. Good job, you all second graders. Um, your word, Fred, is power. It's a noun. To have official authority. The president has a lot of power. Power, two syllables. Power, P-O-W-E-R, power. My next speller, your word is beak. It's a noun. The bill of a bird. The bird had a yellow beak. Beak, one syllable. Beak, B-E-A-K. Beak, beak. Good job, friend. Your word is flat. It's a verb. To sway loosely, usually with the noise of striking and especially when moved by wind. The kite flat in the wind. Flat. Flat. F L A P E D. I'm sorry, that is not correct. But we thank you for participating. Thank you. All right, my next scholar. Your word is crusts. It's a noun. The pastry, pastry shell of a pie. There were only two pie crusts left. Crusts, one syllable. Crusts. C R U T I T. Crusts. I'm sorry, my friend. That is not correct. We thank you for. C-H-A-R-T, chart. My next call, your word is plates. It's a noun. A smooth, flat, thin piece of material. My mom has new plates for dinner. Plates, one syllable. Plates, P-L-A-T-E-S, plates. Not. K-N-O-T, not. Good job, 
job. Good job. All right, my next fellow, back to the microphone. Your word is gutter. Two syllables, gutter. The gutter is full of leaves. Gutter. Gutter. G U T T E R. Gutter. Good job. All right, my friend, your word is goals. The goals, one syllable, goals. We had goals to make for second grade to complete the year. Goals, G-O-A-L-S, goals. Your word, friend, is smug. One syllable, smug. She had a smug look on her face. Smug. Smug. S M U G. Smug. Good job. Great on the move. All right, right. Sorry. All right, friend. Your word is speech. Speech. One syllable. We had to do a speech in class today. Speech. Speech. S P E E C H. Speech. Into action, sprung. 
Sprung, S P R U N G, Sprung. Our friend, your word is crouched. Crouched, one syllable. She crouched down low to get under the fence. Crouched. Crouch, C R O U C H E D, crouched. Yeah, wonderful. My second grade, you're awesome. <laughs> Next fella. Your word is frankly. Um, two syllables, frankly. 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 F-R-A-N-K-L-Y. Frankly. I appreciate that so much. All right, my next spelling your word is creek. One syllable, creek. The store, the floor made a creaking sound by walking across it. Creek, one syllable. Creek, C R E A K Creek. Good job. All right, my spell will be turning. All right, friend, your word is slide. Slide. Everyone slide to the left. Slide. S L I D E. Slide. Good job, friend. All right, my next spelling word is prize. We will all win a prize. Prize, one syllable. Prize, P-R-I-Z-E, prize. Good job. Are your word friend is spikes. Spikes, one syllable. The spikes were used to lay down the train tracks. Spikes. Spikes. S P I K E S spikes. I feel like we're going to be here until tomorrow. Here we go. Your word is floor. Uh, floor, one syllable. Mom had to shine the floor to make it sparkle. Floor, F L O O R, floor. All right, friend, your word is China. China. One syllable. Mom used a good China for Thanksgiving dinner. China. C-H-I-N-A, China. Very good. All right, your word is phone. Sorry, place. Your word is place. We need a new place to put all of our belongings. Place. Place, P L A C E, place. Good job. All right, friend. I'm going to the dictionary. All right, my second graders, are you ready? Yes. Your word is. You're, you're, you are challenging us, okay? You're putting us to the test, and we appreciate that so very much. Your word, friend, is disposition. Disposition, four syllables, is the art, the act, or power of disposing. He was a light and laughing He was, he was of a light and laughing disposition and to him, nothing in this world was serious. Disposition. Disposition. D I S. Position. Z. S H E N. I'm 
sorry, that is not correct. But we actually take a bow. And then we need you to take a seat right there. Good job, friend. All right, your word. Your word is the Lord. It's an adjective, the Lord, two syllables, in large numbers or amounts. The St. Patrick's Day parade features, features floats, dignitaries, and marching bands, the Lord, the Lord, two syllables. The Lord, G-L-O-O-R, the Lord. That is not correct. What we're going to take it out of. Good job. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and forth until we get one to spell correct, all right? All right, honey, mind you, you're next up. All right, we're going to... Your word is galore. Galore. G-A-L-O-R-E, galore. Your word is disposition. 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 D I S P O S E. Disposition. This position, D I S P O S E. C H, this position. I'm sorry, that is not correct. You did it. Give him another round of applause. I don't think a nail biter in the final four had as much energy behind it as that. Wow. That was fantastic. Do you guys do you guys need a minute? Oh, thank you guys all. Alright, so up next, if we could please have all our third graders. All our third graders, please come up. big round of applause for our third graders. All right, spellers, if you could please come on up to the mic, please, and introduce yourselves to the crowd. Michael Green in Stetson. My name is Lamont Grant and I'm from Coosa. My name is Isaac and I go to Coosa. My name is Kendall and I go to Coosa.
My name is Caleb Nari and I go to Stetzer. Welcome our third grade spellers. When it's your turn to come to the mic, please be sure to speak loud so that we can hear you, loud enough so we can hear you, and uh, be clear with your spelling. Say your word, spell your word, and say your word again. Are you ready? Your word, friend. Imagine. It's a verb to form in the mind a thought, picture, or image of. Can you imagine living on the moon? Imagine three syllables. Imagine. I. I am a. G I. E D. Imagined. Sorry, that is not correct, but we thank you for participating. Thank you for raising the All right, friend, your word is fabric. It's a noun. It's a cloth that is woven or knitted. It's a material. The shirt is made of a very soft fabric. Two syllables, fabric. F-A-B-R-I-C. Very good, friend. Your word is squiggles. It's a noun, a short, curvy, or wiggly line or mark. The toddler made some squiggles with the crayon on the wall. Squiggles, two syllables. S Q U G G L E S. Squiggles. Wait, wait. S Q U G G L E S. That is not correct, honey. Squiggles is spelled S Q U I G G L E S. But we thank you for participating. Good job. Good job. All right, my next spelling, your word is ordinary. It's an adjective, usual or normal. His ordinary way of doing things is to be slow and careful. Ordinary. Four syllables. Ordinary. O R D. Ordinary. Gusto. Gusto 
Um, Gusto, G-U-S-T-O. Very good, friend. My next spelling your word is gloves. It's a noun, a covering for the hand that has separate parts for each finger and the thumb. There are five pair of gloves in the closet. Gloves, two syllables. Gloves. Gloves, G-L-O-V-E-S, gloves. All right, my next speller, your word is bonnet. It's a noun, a cloth hat that is fastened beneath the chin with ribbons. The baby had a green bonnet. Two syllables, bonnet. Bonnet, B-O-N-N-E-T. -O 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 -E Very good, friend. Be sure to say your word, spell your word, and say it again. All right, my next spell your word is cousin. It's a noun, the son or daughter of an aunt or uncle. Tamika is my cousin. Two syllables, cousin. Cousin, C-O-U-S-I-N, cousin. Your word is goggles. It's a noun. A pair of special glasses worn to protect the eyes from dust, wind, water, or harsh light. Chemists wear safety goggles in the lab. Goggles, two syllables. Goggles, D O G G L E S. Very good. All right, my spelling, your word is polish. It's a verb to give a shiny surface to. My son will polish the car. Polish, two syllables. Polish. Polish, P-O-L-I-C-H, polish. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The correct spelling is P-O-L-I-S-H, polish. Well, we thank you for participating. Great job, All right, your word is Texas, and if you spell this word correctly, you are the winner for third grade for the spelling bee contest. In Texas, it's a noun, a state in the southwest western United States. Have you been to Texas? Texas, two syllables. Texas, T E X A S. And you, friend, you, friend, you are the winner for the Spelling Bee Contest. Yay! Third grade, we appreciate you taking it out. Good job, good job. Fuck that. How about another big round of applause for our third graders? Fantastic job, everybody. All right, up next, let's bring up our fourth grades, please. Fourth grade students, if you could please make your way up front. Big round of applause for our fourth graders. All right, just like everyone else before you guys, if you could please one at a time come up to the mic, introduce yourself and the school that you represent, and then after the last person goes, we'll get started. Thank you. Hi, my name is Akila Koka, and I'm from Stetzer. Hi, my name is Michaela, and I'm from Stetzer.
My name is Tyre Palmer and I'm from Kusa. Welcome fourth graders, welcome, welcome. Thank you for participating and being a part of the spelling bee. All right, my first speller to the microphone. When you receive your word, please be sure to say your word, spell your word, and say it again. Your word on his throat is a noun, the narrow passage inside the neck. My throat hurts when I am sick. Throat. Throat. T H R O A T. Throat. Good job, friend. Thank you. My right, friend, your word is cringe. It's a verb to crouch or shrink back. The woman cringed when she heard the loud siren. Cringe, one syllable. Cringe, C H, cringe, C R I N G E D. Cringed. Good job, friend. All right, friend. Your word is s'mores. S'more. It's a noun, a dessert consisting usually of toasted marshmallow and pieces of chocolate bar sandwiched between two graham crackers. The kids would like s'mores for dinner. S'mores, one syllable. S'mores. S'mores. S apostrophe M O R E S. S'mores. Good job, friend. My next speller, your word is blindfolded. It's a verb to cover the eyes with a strip of cloth or bandage. Kids were, we were blindfolded to play the game pin the tail on the donkey. Blindfolded. Blind, blindfolded. B L I N D F O L D E D. Blindfolded. All right, my next spelling. Your word is indent. It's a verb. To begin to write or type farther from the left margin than the other lines. Indent. The first line of a new paragraph. Two syllables. Indent. Indent. I-N-D-E-N-T. Indent. All right, my next spelling your word is Nile. It's a noun, the longest river in the world. It flows from Uganda, it flows north from Uganda in East Africa through Sudan and Egypt into the Mediterranean Sea. The Nile River is in Africa, one syllable Nile. Nile, capital N-I-L-E, Nile. Good job. All right, my next spell. Your word is bustling. It's a verb. To move rapidly and energetically. The women were bustling on the dance floor. Bustling. Two syllables. Bustling. B-U-S-T-L-I-N-G. Bustling. Good job, friend. Our friend, your word is Jamestown. It's a noun, a city. A tour bus is in Jamestown. Two syllables, Jamestown. Jamestown, J-A-M-E-S-T-O-W-N, Jamestown. Good job, friend. All right, my next speller. Your word is nudge. It's a verb. To push gently or touch with the elbow to attract attention. Kim nudged me to make me stop talking. Nudge. One syllable. Nudge. Nudged. N-U-G-D-E-D. -E that is no, correct. It
I'm sorry, friends, that is not correct. But we thank you for participating. You did a great job. Thank you back the crazy spouse for participating. Good job. All right, my next. All right, uh, my next uh, speller to the microphone. Your word is masthead. It's a noun. The top of a ship's mast. The captain sh showed us the masthead. Two syllables, masthead. Masthead. M A S T H E A D. Masthead. Very good. Thank you, friend. All right, my next spell, your word, your word is wardrobe. It's a noun, a tall closet or cabinet. The wardrobe is in the guest room. Wardrobe, two syllables. Wardrobe, W-A-R-D-R-O-B-E, wardrobe. The European name for a Ouija. There were three stoats in the park. Stoats, one soul. Stoats. Stoats. S T O A T S. Stoats. Good job. Good job. All right, friend, your word is irregular. It's an adjective. Uneven in shape or some other way. The pants were very irregular. Four syllables, irregular. Irregular. I-R-R-E-G-U-L-A-R. -R -E irregular. Very good. All right, my spell returning. Your word is adjective. It's a noun, not person. Your word is absent. It's a noun, meaning not present. John was absent from school. Three syllables, absent. Two Ab syllables, absent. Absent. A-B-S-E-N-T, absent. Good job, my friend. Good job. All right, my next spelling word is trickster. It's a noun, one who deceives, cheats, or plays tricks. The man was a trickster. Two syllables, trickster. Trickster, T-R-I-C-K-S-T-E-R, trickster. Good job, good job. Your word friend is outright. It's an adjective, complete or total. The fire was an outright disaster. Two syllables, outright. Outright. O U T R I G H T. Outright. Good job. All right, your word friend is playlist. It's a noun, a selection of music. The playlist was made by a student. Playlist, two syllables, playlist. Playlist. P L A Y L I S T. Playlist. Good job. Our friend, your word is rattled. It's a verb to make a series of hard, short knocking sounds. The windows rattled during the storm. Rattled. Two syllables. Rattled. R A T T L E D. Rattled. Good job. All right, friend, your word is relative. It's a noun. A person who belongs to the same family as someone else. All our relatives, including my mother's Aunt Gertrude, are coming to visit. 
Relative, three syllables. Relative, R-E-L-A-T-I-V-E, -E. relative. Your word is squint, it's a verb. To partly close the eyelid, we squinted in the sun. Squinted, squints, one syllable. Squints, S-Q-U-I-N-T-S, squints. Your word is detect. It's a noun to discover or notice. I detected the smell of smoke and discovered the pot was burning. Detect. Two syllables. Detect. D E T E. Wait, no. Detect. D E T E C T. Detect. Very good. Thank you. All right. Turn to the microphone. The word is shimmery. It's an adjective leaning with a soft, wavering light. My aunt has a shimmery satin gown. Shimmery. Three syllables. Shimmery. S H I M M E R Y. Shimmery. Good job, friend. Good job. All right, friend. Your word is surface. It's a noun. The outside limit or top layer of something. The surface of the ice was very smooth at the rink today. Surface, two syllables. Surface, S U R F A C E. Surface. Good job, friend. All right, friend, your word is cleat. It's a noun, a projection attached to the bottom of a sports shoe. The football players wear shoes with cleats. Cleat, one syllable, cleat. Cleat, C-L-E-A-T, cleat. Beautiful, we are working through. All right. Your word, friend, is squabbling. Squabbling. Three syllables. Squabbling. They were squabbling at the park today. Squabbling. Squabbling. S Q U A B B L I N G. Squabbling. All right. Your word, friend, is texture. The fabric had different textures. Texture, two syllables. Texture, T-E-X-T-U-R-E, -E. texture. Savor, S A V O R, or S A V O U R. Good job, thank you, hon. All right, your word frame is talons. Talons, two syllables. The talons on the hawk are very sharp. Talons. Talons. T A L O N S. Talons. Good job, friend. All right, friend, your word is revved. He revved up the engine on his motorcycle. Revved. Revved, R E V V 
ED Reft. All right, your word friend is vibrant. Vibrant. The colors of the rainbow are very vibrant. Vibrant. Two syllables. Vibrant. V I B R A N T. Vibrant. Our friend, your word is leghorn. Leghorn. Fine plated straw. Leghorn. Two syllables. Leghorn. L E G H O R N. Leghorn. Leghorn. All right, friend, your word is scarf. Scarf. One syllable scarf. Mom gave me a red scarf to go with my coat. Scarf. Scarf. S-C-A-R-F, scarf. All right, friend, your word is scrolls. Scrolls, one syllable. The scrolls were written in a different language. Scrolls. Scrolls, S-C, scrolls, S-C-R-O-L-L-S. Scrolls. All right, fourth graders. Good job. They're doing a great job. Your word is sitcom. Sitcom. Two syllables. I get to watch my favorite sitcom on Tuesdays. Sitcom. Two syllables. Sitcom. S I T C O M. Sitcom. Great job. Your word is basically. Three syllables, basically. Basically, you're doing a good job. Basically. Basically. B A S I C A L L Y. Basically. Good job. Thank you, Chief, for representing your schools. Your word, friend, is clobber. Clobber. She clobbered the robber with her purse. Clobbered. Clobbered. C L O B B E R E D. Clobbered. Good job. Thank you. Our friend, your word is drone. One syllable drone. The drone flew, o the drone flew over the airport. Drone. Drone. D R O N E. Drone. Good job, friend. All right, my next spelling word is eyesore. Eyesore. Uh, two syllables, eyesore. The trash in the park was a complete eyesore. 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 E Y E S O R E. Eyesore. Our friend, your word is scuba. Scuba, two syllables, scuba. We went scuba diving on the island, scuba. Scuba, S-C-U-B-A, scuba. Good job, friend, good job. Our friend, your word is scuffle. Scuffle. The boys had a scuffle at the park today. Scuffle. Two syllables. Scuffle. S C O L L. No, can I start over? Scuffle. S C U F. F L E scuffle.
Your word, friend, is sneer. To smile or speak in a contemptuous or mocking manner. She had a, she had sneered at their bad taste. Sneer. Sneer. S N E E R. Sneer. Good job, friend. All right, give the audience and give us some a little more hand clap. And your word is hedgehog, hedgehog, two syllables. The hedgehog were digging holes in my backyard, hedgehog. Hedgehog, H-E-D-G-E-H-O-G, -E hedgehog. Our friend, your word is inclined, inclined. Leaning or turning away from the vertical or sloping. We went up the incline on the roller coaster, inclined. Inclined, inclined. I -N -C -I -L. No. I-N-C-L-I-N-E-D. Inclined. I N C L I N D E D inclined. Wait, no. I'm sorry, my dad is not correct. But we thank you for participating. Thank you for raising the bell. For participating. You did a fabulous job. You did a fabulous job. Have a seat up on the stage. Your word is inclined. Inclined. I N C L I N D. Inclined. Wizard, W I Z A R D, wizard. Good job, friend. Good job. All right, friend, your word is shrine. Shrine. The shrine was decorated with lots of gold and myrrh. Shrine. Shrine, S H R I N. Shine. Try. S H I N. Try. Shrine. R. Shine. I'm sorry, that is not correct. But we thank you for participating. You did a fabulous job. And my friend, you are, you have to spell shrine. 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 The shrine was decorated with golden myrrh, shrine. Shrine, S-H-R-I-N-E, shrine.
our fourth graders. That was a great competition. Nice round of applause for them again, please. Ah, that is heated. All right, and to wrap us up for the evening, if we could please have our fifth graders come down, please. Our fifth grade students, please come down. Come on, fifth grade, come on up and take the stage. <laughs> All right. So, just like everyone before you guys, one at a time, come up to the mic. Please introduce yourself to the crowd and the school that you represent, and then we will get started. My name is Mia, and I go to Stesser School. My name, my name is Jamira, and I go to Main Street School. My name is Adam Salem, and I'm representing Stetzer. My name is Key Angelis, and I'm from Main Street Elementary. All right, well, if our first contestant could please step forward, and we will get the evening going. Welcome, fifth graders. All right, are we ready? Are your word is symbol is a noun, an object or picture that represents something else. The rose is a symbol of love. Two syllables, symbol. Symbol, S-Y-M-B-O-L, symbol. Good job, good job. All right, my next fella. Your word, your word is novice, it's a noun, a person, with little or no experience at a particular job or activity. The young man was a novice at his new job. Novice, two syllables. Novice, N-O-V-I-C-E, novice. All right, friend, your word is adorned. It's a verb, meaning to decorate. We adorn our house with lights during Christmas, to make it look pretty. Adorn, two souls. Adorned, A-D-O-R-N-E-D, -E adorned. Good job. Good job. All right, friend, your word is Juneteenth. It's a noun, the anniversary and celebration of the day of June 19th. 1865, on which the end of slavery was announced in Texas by Union forces. Juneteenth is celebrated every June 19th. Two syllables, Juneteenth. Juneteenth. J-U-N-E-T-E-E-N-T-H. Juneteenth. Good job. All right, friend, your word is dingoes. It's a noun. It's a wild dog in Australia. The dingoes have pointed ears. Dingoes, two syllables. Dingoes. Dingoes. D I N G O E S. Dingoes. Good job. Thank you. My next speller, your word is simplicity. It's a noun, meaning plain and simple. The simplicity of the instructions help us assemble the bike quickly. Simplicity, four syllables. Simplicity. Simplicity, S-I-M-P-L-I-C-I-T-Y, simplicity. All right, my next following word is Neptune, it's a noun, the fourth largest planet in the solar system. 
Neptune. Can you see Neptune with your telescope? Two syllables, Neptune. Neptune. N-E-P-T-U-N-E. -E. Neptune. All right, friend, your word is gauze. It's a noun. Thin cotton cloth used to cover a wound. The nurse put a gauze on my knee. One syllable gauze. Gauze. G U Gauze. G E O E Z E. Gauze. I'm sorry that is not the correct spelling. We thank you for participating. Devious. All right, friend, your word is orientation. It is a noun, the act or process of preparing oneself or others for a new situation. The orientation for new employees was a helpful introduction to my job. Orientation, five syllables. O orientation. O R I E N T A T I O N orientation. Very good. Thank you. Our friend, your word is tuxedo. It's a noun. A formal evening suit for men. The groom had on a tuxedo. Three syllables, tuxedo. Tuxedo. T-U-X-E-D-O. Tuxedo. All right, friend, your word is conquers. It's a noun. A round, inedible nut encased in a spiky husk produced by a horse chestnut tree. The conkers fell out of the tree. Two syllables, conkers. Conkers. C-O-N-K-E-R-S. Conkers. Weird. W E I R D. Weird. Very good. Alright, friend, your word is surrounded. It's a verb to close off all sides. We were surrounded by the troops. Surrounded. Three souls. Surrounded. S U R R O U N D E D surrounded. Our friend, your word is telescope. It is a noun, an instrument that uses lenses and sometimes mirror mirrors to make distant objects appear larger. Powerful telescopes increase our knowledge about stars and planets. Telescopes. Telescope. Telescope. T E L E S C O P E. Telescope. All right, my next fifth grader. Your word is canopy. It's a noun, a large piece of fabric that is held 
up by poles and hangs over a space. A beautiful lace canopy hangs over her bed. Canopy, three syllables. Canopy, C-A-N-O-P-Y, canopy. All right, my next speller, your word is destination. It is a noun, the place to which a person is going. The destination is Hawaii. Four syllables, destination. Destination, D-E-S-T-I-N. A T I O N destination. My next speller, your word is dedicated. It is a verb to set apart for a special use or purpose. This money is dedicated to helping the hurricane victims. Dedicated. Four syllables. Dedicated. D E D I C A T E D dedicated. Yeah. All right, um, my next spelling, your word is caverns. It's a noun, a large cave. There are caverns in Yellowstone Park. Caverns, two syllables, caverns. Caverns, C A V E R N S, caverns. All right, your word is curtains. It's a noun, a piece of cloth hung in a window. The living room has blue curtains. Two syllables, curtains. Curtains, C U R T A I N S, curtains. Your word is nada. It's a noun meaning nothing. It won't cost you nada. Two syllables, nada. Nada. N-A-D-A. -A. Nada. Yeah, All right. My next spelling word is archduke. It's a noun. A title given to a ruling prince. The young man was an archduke in his country. Archduke, two syllables. R two D A R C H D U K E R two D. All right, my next friend. Your word is ogre. It's a noun, an ugly giant or monster in folk tales and children's stories. There was an ogre in the movie. Ogre, three syllables, two syllables. Ogre. Ogre. O G R E, ogre. All right, my next spelling word is cavity. It's a noun, a hollow place or hole. He hid money in a cavity of the old tree. Cavity. Three syllables, cavity. Cavity. C A V I T Y, cavity. Very good, thank you. Our friend, your word is crockery. It is a noun, earthenware dishes and pots collectively. I received a crockery gift from Mexico. Crockery, three syllables. Crockery, C R O C K E R Y, crockery. All right, your word is associated. It's an adjective joined together often in a working relationship. Cold weather is associated with winter. Associated, five syllables. Associated. A S S O C I A T E D associated. All right, my next spelling. Your word is dependable. It is an adjective. K 
capable of being trusted or reliable. He's the team's most dependable player. Four syllables, dependable. Dependable. D E P E N D A B L E dependable. All right, your word is mutual, an adjective directed by each toward the other or others. We have mutual hobbies, three syllables, mutual. Mutual, M U T A M U T -A U A L mutual. Very good, thank you, friend. All right, your word is decimal. It's an adjective, numbered or proceeding by tens. In the number eight point nine oh one, the nine is in the first decimal place. Decimal, three syllables. Decimal, D E C I. M A L decimal. All right, for a new word is inlaid is an adjective set into a surface in a decorative design. The mantle had gold inlaid in the wood. Inlaid. I N L A I D and Lee. All right, friend, your word is sardine. It's a noun, any of several small or immature fishes of the Immature fish of the herring family. She likes sardines. Sardines on her pizza. Sardine. Two syllables. Sardine. S. Sardine. S. A. R. D. I. N. E. Sardine. Good job, All right. Your word is exception. It's a noun meaning exclusion. There will be no exceptions to this rule. Exception. Three syllables. Exception. Exception. E X C E P T I O N. Exception. All right. Your word, friend, is notification. It's a noun. The act of notifying. A written or printed matter that gives notice. We sent notification home for the trip to Disney World. Notification, five syllables. Notification. N O T I F I C A T I O N. Notification. It's a noun, a person who walks by something on a street or road. Road. Several passer passers by saw the accident. Passers by. Three syllables. Passer by. P A S S. P A S S. E R S B Y. Passerby. Alright, friend, your word is parsnips. It's a noun. A vegetable that is long, white root of a plant related to the carrot. We have parsnips on our salad. Parsnips to parsnips. Two syllables. Parsnips. P A R S 
N I P S Parsnips. Fifth grade, if you're really rocking it. Yeah. All right, friend, your word is invasions. It's a noun, the act of entering a place in an attempt to take control. The enemy launched an invasion. Invasions. Uh, three syllables. Invasions. Invasions. I N V A S I O N S. Invasion. All right, my next word, my next spelling. Your word is reduce, it's a verb to make smaller in size. We are trying to reduce our debt. Re Two syllables, reduce. Reduce, R-E-D-U-C-E, -E. reduce. Good job, friend. All right, your word is grudgingly. Your word is grudgingly. It's a verb, adverb. Said, done, or given in an unwilling or doubtful way. They grudgingly gave him permission. Three syllables. Grudgingly. G R U D G I N G L Y. Grudgingly. All right, friend, your word is mulberry. It's a noun, a type of tree with purple berries that can be eaten. We pick mulberries from the tree. Three syllables, mulberry. Mulberry, M-U-L-B-E-R-R-Y, mulberry. is furthermore, it's an adverb, in addition to what has been said. Furthermore studies, furthermore, several studies have confirmed them. Three, syll three syllables, furthermore. Furthermore, F-U-R-T-H-E-R-M-O-R-E, -E, furthermore. It's a noun. The highest point of a mountain. The climbers failed to reach the summit. Two syllables, summit. Summit. S-U-M-M-I-T, summit. All right, your word is concise. It's an adjective expressing much in few words. He gave a concise description of the criminal. Concise, two syllables. Concise. Concise. C O N C I C E. Concise. I'm sorry, that's not the correct All right, your word, friend, is bombard. It's a verb to attack again and again. We were, we were bombarded by unwanted ads. Two syllables, bombard. Bombard, B-U-M-B-E-R-D, bombard. Sorry, that is not the correct spelling. But we, but we thank you for you to get a ticket back. Thank you for your.
participate. You have to spell, friend, bombard. It's a verb to attack again and again. We were bombarded by unwanted ads. Bombard, two syllables. Bombard. B U M B A R D. Bombard. That is not the correct spelling. That's okay, that's okay. Our right, friend, your word is flimsy. It's an adjective, not strong or solid. The box was flimsy and fell apart when we put the cans in it. Flimsy, two syllables. Flimsy, F-L-I-M-Z-E-Y. I'm sorry, that is not the correct spelling. All right, can you turn it to the microphone? You got it? Your word is flimsy. It's an adjective, not strong or solid. The box was flimsy and fell apart when we put the cans in. Flimsy, two syllables. Flimsy, F-L-I-Z-Y, no, F-L-I-M-Z-Y, flimsy. I'm sorry, that is not the correct spelling. Got it. My right, friend, your word is sedated. It's an adjective, quiet and steady in a manner or conduct. We walk the beach at a, at a sedated pace. Sedated, three syllables. Sedated. S U N E N D. I'm sorry, that is not the correct spelling. Thank you for trying. All right, again, your word is sedated, an adjective, quiet and steady in a manner or conduct. conduct. We walk the beach at a sedated pace. Sedated or sedated? Sedated? Sedated. S A D A T E D. Sedated. Your word is engulf. It's a verb. To flow over and cover or surround. The town was engulfed by the flood. Engulf. Two syllables. Engulf. In, engulfed. I N G O F I N G O L F E D. Engulf. I'm sorry, that is not the correct spelling. We're working it, though. We're working it. Good job, friends. Good job. Is this the past tense of engulf, or is the word engulf? The word is engulf. Okay. The word is engulf. No, it is engulf, not the past tense. Okay. Um, it's a verb to flow over and cover or surround. The town was engulfed by the flood. Engulf, not the past tense. Engulf. I N G U L F. Engulf. How do you spell it? <laughs> the, correct, the correct spelling is. Is E N G U L F. All right. Your word, friend, is your word is glitch. It's a noun. 
usually a minor problem. There was a glitch with the spelling bee registration. Glitch. Glitch. G L I T C H. Glitch. That is correct. Good job, friend. Good job. All right, your word, friend, is scrawny. It's an adjective, very thin, that is not attractive or healthy. The scrawny kid cannot make it up the hill. Scrawny, two syllables. Scrawny, S-C-R-A-W-N-Y, scrawny. I-V-E, hyperactive. All right, friend. Your word is mandatory. It's an adjective required by law or rule. It is mandatory to be in uniform every day. Mandatory for students. coming up through the grade levels, oh boy. That is a spelling bee. All right, well we want everybody to kind of stick around here. We want to get every all the uh, participants down. We want to get the prize winners down here. Uh, I need the name. Can you grab me my paper? If we could have all the first and second place students come down, we're going to announce your name and our superintendent, Dr. Parkinson, is going to be handing over the prizes. First and second place finishers for each grade level. 
All right. So we're going to lead off with our first grade winners. In second place, we have Ariana Walton. Go ahead. You can go over and That backpack may be heavier than she is. Congratulations, Ariana. Stay up here on stage, hang out with us. We're gonna take a group photo at the end. Our first place winner, Alan Parks. Congratulations. Thank you, first graders. Up next, we have our second place finisher for second grade, Arwa Saladin. Oh, Salem. I misspelled it. There's two blanks over there, sorry. Congratulations, Arwa. Arwa, I'm gonna need your certificate at the end to rewrite your name correctly. My apologies. Our, our first place winner for second grade, Nalia Maji. Congratulations. All right, third grade, our second place finisher, Caleb Narti. Congratulations, Caleb. Good job, Caleb. Our first place finisher for third grade, Lamont Grant. Congratulations. All right. Coming in with fourth grade, our second place finisher, Akila. I'm, I'm unable to pronounce it. <laughs> Cole Claw? Cole Claw. Thank you. And our first place finisher for fourth grade, Michaela Green. Congratulations. That one was a competition. All right, fifth grade. Coming in second place, Jamira Lucas. Congratulations. And wrapping up that one with first place, we have Adam Salam. Salam, sorry. Salam. Salam. Adam, congratulations. All right, a nice round of applause for all our prize winners. And if we can have all the participants that are still here to please join the prize winners on stage, we want to get a nice group photo of everybody. We're going to do 